So we're going to show you how we uh, burn and coat our screens in our dark room. You'll notice that most dark rooms probably have to use a yellow light or a red light to prevent their screens from being um, exposed early, but we have a UV filter over our light so we can actually work in the light instead of the dark. Um, this is our cabinet. We keep all our screens in it once they've been coated and then uh, we let them dry. We have a little space here that will dry them and then once they're finished we can uh, burn them. But first I'm going to show you how we coat our screens. So we have a couple here. We use orange emulsion and it's a liquid and so you want to keep this out of the light until you burn it otherwise it ruins it and then we just have a little trough uh, type thing and it has two the edges are two different ones so one's a little more rounded and lays down more emulsion one's a little more uh, sh sharper i guess and it lays down uh, less emulsion and so we like to use the rounded one so you get a good thick layer so when you do burn your screen you have a good stencil uh, for printing later on and so uh, these are our screens you know encoded just uh, uh, different mesh sizes they're all marked with numbers on them but most of ours are just 110s and so what I'll do is uh, we do both sides of it and so we flip we'll do one side and then flip the screen over and do the other side from the bottom that way the thickness of the emulsion uh, is even on both sides and so this is one of those things that takes a lot of practice. It probably took me several months before I actually figured out how to do it. But you just put even pressure down. Um, when you initially put it up here, you're going to have more emulsion. So you can kind of see if you hold it up to the light that this is a little thicker and then it wears off as you bring it off. And so that's why we flip it to do this side so it's thicker down here and then lighter up here on this side. Put them in here. And then on to the next one. You'll notice some of them have a little uh, a ghost image, is what you call that. And that's kind of the red left over. And so typically, sometimes red and black can kind of dye the screen. And we have chemicals that will, in the reclaim process, that will clean that out. And so just give it a couple of times and it'll be cleaned out. But you can see how that's a push down pretty good. But some of it, like I said, just takes practice. And then, boom, the red's covered up and so it won't mess up your plant once you burn the screen again. One thing you kind of have to remember is it helps tilt the screen back and then once you get to the top you kind of ease off of it. Uh, one of the problems most of the time someone who's new doing this they'll bring this off a little early and then just all the emulsion just runs down so it makes a big mess. Right, so most of the time it just takes a little bit of practice and then after eight years, it's not that difficult. There's the last one. A pretty good one. So next, we're going to show you how to burn a screen once the emulsion is dried, and then it should be ready to use out in the shop to print some shirts. <laughs> 